She is really annoying. Hi guys, what's up? Your boy Al is here with episode 4 review of Demon Slayer Season 4 so let's go. At first we see Tanjiro arrive just in time to witness Takedo training the Demon Slayers. Despite Takedo's intimidating demeanor towards the trainees, he shows genuine warmth towards Tanjiro. Tanjiro is pleasantly surprised to meet Kanamori-san, who lives with Takedo permanently to keep his sword sharpened at all times, as per Takedo's request to Kagaya. Takedo isn't a very expressive person, so his training method comes off as really harsh compared to others, even when he isn't being harsh. Also Takedo's shift in personality after seeing Tanjiro was pretty funny. Next we see that during the training, Takedo exhibits the same level of intensity as the other Hashiras. Afterward, the trainees discuss Takedo's stern demeanor, with Tanjiro remarking that it seems milder compared to their previous encounter in the Swordsmith Village. Despite Tanjiro's observation, the trainees remain discouraged. It's revealed that Takedo trains with Igiro and Shinazugawa outside the house daily. During one session, we see an upper-ranked demon with numerous eyes resembling tiny spiders, suggesting it's monitoring the Hashiras. I don't understand why they couldn't sense the demon, Hashiras are super sensitive, so logically they should have been able to sense it. I mean you can argue that it was an upper-ranked demon, but they are also Hashiras. Also Studio Ufotable was really flexing their animation skills. Moving on we see that during Takedo's training the following day, the trainees start to recognize his efforts for their well-being. Takedo expresses his desire for them to survive encounters with demons and live long lives. Later, he fights with Tanjiro and grants him permission to advance to the next level after five days. The other trainees, emboldened by his positive response, inquire about their own advancement after two weeks of training. However, Takedo's demeanor shifts, and he firmly denies their request to leave. I know Tanjiro has become a lot stronger over the course of time, but I don't understand why is everyone acting like he is fairly close to becoming a Hashira. Also correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Tanjiro never got promoted after his first promotion, which means he is still at the second lowest rank of the Demon Slayer Corps. Then we see Tanjiro, noticing the situation, proposes a paper airplane contest to Takedo, suggesting that if he wins, Takedo should adopt a gentler tone with the core members. Takedo agrees enthusiastically. Despite Tanjiro needing to keep his plane in the air longer than Takedo's just once, he ultimately loses. Nonetheless, the challenge uplifts the core's morale, as they engage in a playful paper airplane battle, leading to a more amicable atmosphere with Takedo. Everyone warming up to Takedo was nice and all, but this part could have been much shorter, just like most of the things in this episode that got unnecessarily dragged out. I mean I like character development, but these were just fillers. At the end we see Tanjiro inform Takedo that he hasn't brought Nezuko with him due to the danger posed by demons. Nezuko is currently under the care of Yurokodaki-san while Tanjiro completes his training. Before departing, Takedo expresses his determination to defeat Muzan alongside Tanjiro, and Tanjiro agrees to the proposition. Tanjiro then arrives at Kenroji's place. I don't understand why Muzan is waiting and giving his opponents a chance to prepare for a fight. I mean Muzan is far stronger than any of the current Hashiras, so it should be far easier for him to capture Nezuko now, when she is less protected, rather than in an all-out war. Also if an upper-ranked demon is keeping an eye on the Hashiras, then I would assume Muzan knows Nezuko's location. Either way. This episode felt really unnecessary with very little progression, and it should have been much shorter, and they should have added more meaningful content to it. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.